Why waste calories? Don't be stupid. Go camp in the trees. All right, it's that time again. Time for another solo overnighter in the woods. I'm thinking it's four hours before darkness falls and we simulate a lost hiker. I'm not making it back to my vehicle. I'm not making it back to my cabin. I'm stuck out here for the night with the gear that I have and this rocky terrain. Now, something like this, it's actually two separate rocks, but they're close enough together where you got about two and a half feet at the bottom where you can actually lay down. It's about seven and a half feet long. And if I want to get out of the wind, I want to get out of the rain. I want to take refuge or shelter behind something to block that wind or at least protect my fire. This is a godsend. So let's go ahead and get inside here and see what we got. And see if this thing can actually be converted into a rock house for the night. Now, if you prepared properly, you have all the gear and the items that you need for a decent night out in the woods. However, with that said, being a former military, I want to utilize the terrain or micro terrain around me to make it that much better. Seeing something like this, these are two separate boulders, but on the inside, you've got about two and a half feet in width. It looks like about six foot tall that tapers down to about two foot tall, kind of in a slope. And it wouldn't be anything to cover the top of that with a tarp or logs, build some type of fire pit in the back and get that heat to bounce off these walls all night, keeping me comfortable. Um, and just hanging out in there, hunkering down till daylight. So my point being, you can have a hammock between two trees and swing in the breeze, throw a tent down and have it flop around all night in the wind, or utilize something like this and have a good night. We were standing right there looking in. Here's one wall on the outside. If you look at this wall is lower than that wall. So how much work would it be to actually land logs or debris across here or even a long tarp fire pit right here. And like we said, have that heat just bounce around inside there all night. Everything you do has to be calculated. You gotta think four, five, six steps ahead. Being that it's gonna be dark soon, about three and a half hours, do I wanna screw around making the roof system then get compromised? Be out here in the dark with a headlamp trying to rake up leaves and trying to get the thing cleaned out? Probably not. Worst case, I'll at least have a bed. So I'm gonna choose to work on my bed first, then the roof, then the fire pit. Um, worst case, I can live without a roof. There's no rain in the forecast but I'd like to have a fire in there and at least a bed to lay on. So on that note, let's get to it.
and that's what we're talking about right there and we still got a good three foot on this side and probably three foot down there i thought this thing was about seven foot turns out it's looking like more like 12. so i'm happy with this and we're low enough we're blocking that wind so all i got to do here is figure out this roof system do i want to hang a poncho over it this way because i'm always carrying two ponchos or mess around with some logs and go that route i don't know yet um, either way though this is 100 percent doable um i'm happy with this and 20 feet away i have all this dead debris just sitting here but shelter location, wherever you end up at, that's the important part, is you want the five W's. You want to be in the vicinity of water so you can hydrate yourself or at least clean up for the night. You want to have wood, like I just showed you, 20 feet away. I got a wood pile just sitting there. So if I have to build something or make a fire, I can. The main point of today is to get out of the wind. And we're accomplishing that by those two rocks right there blocking the wind. I want to be away from wildlife or wigglies. We got the leaves out of there, check for snakes and bugs. Nothing was present, so we're good. And the last thing we want to do is look for widow makers, dead trees or limbs that could fall on me and crush me in the night. Being next to those two rocks and placing the roof system on top of that, we've hit all five of those goals. And the water is right down in the creek over here. We'll get to that later. Um, so give yourself two to four hours to set up a camp somewhere. Don't push until dark. Don't say, oh, I see a forest half a mile away. I'm gonna go bring that wood to my camp. Why waste calories? Don't be stupid. Go camp in the trees. Uh, just fitting these things in here like a puzzle. I don't know where they're gonna fit. We're not worried about rain, we're worried about wind and widow makers above us. There we go. Let me add this last one right here for now. And then I want to go through and try to find some smaller sticks of land in between these gaps here. So gaps like this. Just landing small ones inside there. Again, I'm not concerned with rain tonight. I'm more concerned with wind. And anything I can do to get out of that wind.
So we have Aftershock Preparedness Chili Mac. Let's give this a shot here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Catch you all in a few. Tell you what, it's been like, what, at least three years. It's got to be around three years since I had popcorn out in the woods. Um, I saw a Jiffy Pop in the store and I was like, just couldn't resist. That's how old I am. Hands down, though, nothing beats. Doing it yourself at your house. Got your pan, got your butter, throw some salt in there, a little bit of oil. Toss the seeds inside, put the lid on it. In this circular motion over top of a gas stove. Mm, tell you what. Pre-microwave, baby. Tell you what. Gen X. Catch you all in a few. Mm -mm -mm. With a small fire back there, I'll show you that in a minute. It is actually warm in here. So it's the heat's going right past me. I'm happy with that. Worked out well. Um, for an overnighter, one, two, three days, something that you have to hunker in, or even just hunker in for the night until it's daylight and you can come out of here, um, I'd take it. If I had a nice 10 by 10 or a 20 by 20 tarp, I'd toss it over top of this, stake the sides out, and guarantee all that heat's trapped in here. But for what it is, and it's springtime, I'm happy. What I've done here is I've actually scooted myself to the entrance of this rock fortress to try to maximize the light. It's getting dark so fast that I can't really see what's going on. Brought my headlamp out here and I'm upset. I'm ashamed almost, but I'm more disappointed. After four years of using the LED lenser headlamp, it's broken. Um, I charged it up last night, checked it, everything's A-OK, -okay, and now I've noticed the button, when you push it, you can hear it click. It no longer clicks so it won't even come on so but hey four years and it cost me like i think it was 65 bucks um it's 52 videos a year times four it's got its money worth um yeah I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that it provided me with everything i needed so this video is going to be extremely difficult so bear with me um we'll get it figured out trying to use my cell phone that's zero help. I mean, it's more spooky than anything. Be like, ooh. So go ahead and cut this thing off. Hopefully you guys can see me. Last thing I'll talk about real quick is the um, Camp Axe, the Camp Companion from Hardcore Hammers. We got the price down a lot. And um, those that uh, purchased one, I appreciate it. We have more of these in stock and more are coming. So you go to my video description box and click on Hardcore Hammers link and check it out. Um, use that code that's on there and you'll get free shipping site-wide. There's a lot more things in there as well. There's actually a carrying case for this. There's tool lube and a hockey puck sharpener. So check those things out. Um, and let me know what you think of these things. Um, I'm sold on them. The very fact that you can even stick it in a tree like a tomahawk and we're looking at 16 inches and it fits almost any pack and that's what we were going for uh, a lot of people get caught up on well it has to be this and it should be that and this is how it is well there's no rules saying any of those things it's what people want to say to try to push their agenda in reality um, things need to be tailored to what people actually use need and are universal for every type of bag or pack and that's what we did right here so once again the hardcore hammers link is in my video description box check her out On Monday, I have a meeting with a, we'll call it a production company. Um, no, it's not to be on TV. Um, but let's just say we're getting in on the ground floor of something great. Um, 
And once I get the go ahead and we figured everything out, I'll go ahead and announce it. Also in two weeks, two weeks, so that's mid-April, no later than the third week of April, my online classroom will be up and running. And once we have that done, it will hopefully coincide with what I'm trying to do with this production company. And we'll go ahead and drop the hammer on that, let you guys know what's up. Um, my last class with Buckeye Bushcraft is in May, but we have other things coming. We just scouted two more properties and let's just say the things we're going to do most can't do and we'll be unable to. So stay tuned for that. At the earliest, I got to be out here at 4.30. Um, I have to get home, get the video edited and get it up. Um, I can't screw around. The very fact my headlamp just took a shit, I'm screwed. So we're going to forego the morning portion and I'm trapped. I can't go anywhere. So I'll be here um, checking emails, things like that. But I'll just end this bad boy off right now. Um, we're dropping 50, 50 cup and bottle sets to my Etsy store. So once again, my video description box, click on the Etsy link and get her done. Last time I said 15 minutes, they were gone in 10. So let's go for nine and a half minutes. On that note, let's end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time.